Okay, it's official. It is. Wait, excuse me while I fucking strangle myself getting the band this fucking mask off. He has lost it, man. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm hanging on. Barely. Get to the safe confines of the beast. And here we go. Get the fuck out of here. What a waste of trip that was. Why is it not my choice if I want to wear my seatbelt? Why am I forced to wear my seatbelt? You know, I should have the option, shouldn't I? It's not fucking with anybody else. If I get extra fucked up, that's my choice. Not right? Oh. I'm certain I have descended into the ninth glow. Ninth fucking gates of hell. Worse. I, I really, I, it, it hit me just a few minutes ago. I was back there. Walmart. Uh, I don't know where the fuck it is. Fucking uh, 46 West. Just had to get out. Climbing the walls. It, the walls of my skull inside. I can't take it and I really can't. You know, you can't go to the gym. You can only do... So much fucking push-ups and walking and shit like that, you know. Trying to stay positive, positive, positive. Smoking a cigarette. That means tensions are high. I can't, I, you know, I, just, I can't interact with people. I can't, it's like I cannot be around them. By default, wherever it is, I can't. Something always, always fucking happens. It, it, everything from, you know, little fucking little things happen to bigger things. Uh, and I find myself, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying so hard not to get worked up. I really am. It's almost impossible. So. My original destination I planned for myself way earlier in the day to go to uh, Target and Pramus was the only one that had the item I wanted in stock. And they also had this drone I've been wanting to fucking get. And I don't trust them fucking mailing it. So I just assume, well, kind of, I fucked up for assuming. But I just think, I thought I knew where it was in Target. Know, in this area, it's not that big tri-state area. I can easily flushing it down a toilet bowl size. Long story short, it was not. And so I put it into my into the phone maps. And um It won't pull it up. It shows it. it shows it on the, the fucking, you know, the map overview. Oh, yeah, that's helpful. Fucking, it show, you see everything. It's like looking down the fucking sky. It won't pull it up the fucking thing. I even pulled over on the, on the, the uh, shoulder to fucking to address it properly. Couldn't do it. No problem. It's always tomorrow. Whatever. Plan B go to something I actually do know where it is so I don't complete strike out which I'm going home to complete strike out. I did get out but so I ended up uh, 
in, in Walmartian, Walmartia, with the Walmartians are at, and, uh, and I'm in there, and, and no reason to go in fucking Walmart, you know, just because there was, maybe I'll find something I need or whatever. Before I even was in the store, Oh, look at him, he's, he's looking at a, he's 
picking up a, a yarn of string. It's got, it's got string headquarters. All right, keep on him. What else is he doing? Uh, he's walking down the light bulb aisle. Holy shit. He's got a string and a light bulb fucking bomb making it into what marks here. Right, keep on him. Do we need backups? Do we get backups for him? Uh, well, he's kind of very, you know, he seems polite and very efficient and not bothering anything. Uh, he's just so goddamn suspicious looking, isn't he? Um, all right, stay on him a little bit more. You know, we'll call we'll call in the fucking military reserves and a SWAT team in a little while uh, if if he gets really crazy. Uh, if he goes near the electrical tape, then forget about it. Oh, he walk. I did. I walked past. And I, I was looking. I used a lot of duct tape. Uh, oh my god, he's picking up gorilla tape. Holy shit! We're, you know, uh, that's it. Gorilla tape, light bulb, string bomb. Oh my god. You know, like. And then I got fucking, and then I hear over the intercom, as I'm walking down the aisle, nostalgia, you know, back again, like when I was alive and stuff, and big difference, you know, looking at the two, and I'm learning, you know, you know fighting off the depression, fighting fighting it off as best I can, uh, trying to keep the mind busy, planning something for later, uh, which I did come up with a couple cool things before, but... And then I was like, and I'm walking, and then I hear the thing, you know, we're closing in 15 minutes, blah, blah, blah. And I did find something really fucking cool that was would have been awesome but to get. You know, I had it in my hands for 15 bucks. It was cool. It was uh, like a, a four or five pound weighted walking vest uh, for walking. Burn more calories, more strong. It's just awesome. Lightweight. It was fucking perfect. Old last one. I hear it. I turn around and go to the thing to where the fucking registers are. <laughs> I did something like that of a laugh when I saw the, the lines. And you could not pay me. Pay me to wait a little while. And I'm going down the aisle, I guess who's in the aisle. The last aisle, fucking backed up and shit. My favorite couple. And she turns around, looks up, she sees me coming. She's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I And I squeak out of there. Now I'm driving back home. And it's just, this is like a fucking surreal, fucking weird post-apocalyptic fucking around here. I don't know what everyone else in the country is doing fucking the quarantine shit. But up here, it's tri-state. And me, and I used to live around here a lot of times, you know, when I was married, stuff like that, after that. Uh, so there's a lot of memories everywhere I go, you know. And there's a lot of bad times too, but, you know, when you're in, in between, you know, you, you just, you know, I guess kind of look for the old good. I gotta get that out of me. That kind of thinking has gotta get out of me. I gotta really get rid of all of the fucking emotion out of me. I want it all gone. I don't want to love anyone. I don't even want to fuck anyone anymore. I just want to fucking be, you know, do my trip with little fucking problems so I can do my thing. And everyone do their thing. la di da di da But it ju- I just can't. So is it I'm not saying I'm right. I never once said that. Most of the time, but... And I know, I know I'm getting probably a lot more fucking kookier and kookier each day. Fucking built in the quarantine, you know. Fucking no gym, you know, no fucking nothing. But I feel sorry for a lot of people. You know, fucking, and then I was thinking about me, and I was the same way, you know, fucking sacrificing my life just so I could fucking get laid or something. That's what it is, you know, uh, for fucking guys. You know, fucking trade their whole life away just to fucking because they wrapped around that girl's got wrapped around you know and they can't you know 
fathom the idea of not being with her or whatever, so they're fucking sacrificed their life. And probably, and vice versa, I guess. I don't know. Ask me about relationships. Fuck! Oh, I have a funny thing. Uh, but I'll wait. But I know it, so I know that. I know, and the longer I'm fucking, like, isolated like this, and not, and I mean, like, really hang cuffed to the house, it's been, what, 30, 40 years now, it's been, like, quarantine, right? Something like that? I don't know. A long time. And I mean, I hardcore stay alone in due time. I, you know, I don't call anybody. I don't fucking, I don't lean on anybody. I don't fucking bleed on anybody. 